Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my another brand new after effects tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to create this Before I start tutorial, I like to tell you, you can follow me on Instagram. If you have any question, then you can send your question in my Instagram profile. I will reply every single questions. And you can download this full project file and you can customize it yourself. Download link in the description box below. So please check this out. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition, go to composition, new composition and let's call it logo animation and I am going with 1920 by 1080 frame rate 25 and duration make it 8 seconds then click on ok. Okay, now import your logo, you can also use text instead of logo. Then select the logo and place this in your timeline. Then press S to open scale and make it little bit smaller like this then right click on this layer and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok ok now go to effect and preset window and search for cc ball action then select the effect and apply onto this layer then go to effect control panel and change some settings. Twist property set it random. And grid spacing set it 3. And ball size set it 60. Then go to beginning of this animation. And set a keyframe on scatter. And make it 500. Then go forward 1 seconds and scatter amount set it 0. Perfect. Ok now go to around 17 frame. Then set a keyframe on twist angle and twist angle amount set it 355 degree. Then go to around 2 seconds and twist angle set it 0. Looks nice to me. Ok now select this layer and press U to open keyframes. Then select all keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Then open graph editor. Then click here to fit all graph to view. Then change the graph curve to something like this. Ok now switch back to timeline and press 0 to ramp view. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Then select the effect and apply onto this layer to make this more brighter. You can see the changes. Ok now select this layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer. Then select this layer and press enter and rename it to logo copy. Then go to effect control panel and delete the effects cc ball action and delete the glow effect also. Then select this 
layer and put it below the logo layer. Then select this layer and press T to open opacity. Then go to around 2 seconds and set a keyframe on opacity. Then go to around 4 seconds and opacity set it 0. Then select this 2 keyframe and press F9 to make them easy ease. Then select this logo copy layer and press T to open opacity. Then go to around 2 seconds and set a keyframe on opacity and make this amount to 0. Then go forward few seconds and opacity set it 100%. Then select this 2 keyframe and press F9 to make them easy ease. Ok now trim this layer something like this. Also trim this layer. Perfect. Ok now select the logo copy layer and make this layer 3D. If you don't see the 3D button simply click here. Now press 0 to ramp preview this. Ok now we are create a camera. So right click here. Then new and click on camera. Then preset set it custom. Then click on ok. Then again right click here and new and click on null object. Make this null object 3D. Then select this and press enter and rename it to rotation. Then select the camera and parent it to rotation. If you don't see the parent option simply right click here then columns then click on parent. Ok now select the camera and press P to open position. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then set a keyframe on position. Then go to end of this animation and decrease the Z amount very high. Ok now select this 2 keyframe. And press F9 to make them easy ease. Then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. Ok ramp preview this. Looks nice to me. Ok now select the rotation layer and press R to open rotation property. Then go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on Y rotation and Y rotation amount set it minus 120 degree. Then go forward 2 seconds and Y rotation amount set it 0. Then select this 2 keyframe and press F9 to make them easy ease and open graph editor and change the graph curve. Perfect. Ok now ramp preview this. Wow, it's look nice. Ok now go to around 7 seconds. Then select the logo copy layer and press P to open position. Then set a keyframe on position. Then go forward few seconds. And decrease the Z amount very high. Like this. Then select this to keyframe and press F9 to make them easy ease and open graph editor and change the graph curve to something like this perfect ok now click here to turn on motion blur also click on this big motion blur icon Perfect. Ok 
Okay, now go to project window and import our background fog layer. You can download the full fog collection from link in the description box below. So please check this out. Okay, now select the fog layer and place this in your timeline. Then select this layer and then go to effect, color correction and choose curves. Then change the RGB curves to something like this. Perfect. Okay, now right click new and create a new black solid layer and rename it to vintage then click on ok then select this layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool and double click on it then change the max mode to subtract and then press F to open max feather and max feather amount set it 350 pixel then change the max point position to something like this again right click new and click on solid and rename it to opacity and make it black then click on ok now go to beginning of this animation and press T to open opacity then set a keyframe on opacity then go for our 10 frame and opacity set it 0 then go to around 7 seconds 10 frame and create a keyframe on opacity and then go to end of this animation and opacity set it 100% then select all the keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease again right click here then new and click on solid and rename it to mask make it black then click on ok now select this layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and hold down alt control and drag then change the max mode to subtract perfect now this is our final step create a new adjustment layer so right click new and click on adjustment layer then select the layer and put it below the camera then select the layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for CC force motion blur then select the effect and apply onto this adjustment layer then go to effect control panel and motion blur sample set it 10 and shutter angle set it 350 perfect our animation is almost done again select the adjustment layer and then go to effect blur and sharpen then choose sharpen and then sharpen amount set it 40 our animation is complete press 0 to ramp view this Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and you can download this full project file from link in the description box below. Have a nice day.